Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the most precious name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Thank God for His goodness and for His faithfulness. I just want to read a verse from the book of Psalm, Psalm 73, reading verse 1. Truly God is good to Israel even to set a czar of a clean heart. We all know about the life of Jacob. His heart was not right before God. He was a cheat, a supplanter, a man who lied to his father to get a blessing. But God didn't leave that man that way till one day God met with him and changed him to Israel. God changed his entire character and his life was blessed. And see the second part of that verse, God is good to Israel even to set as a, of a clean heart. There's one thing that God desires from each one of us, for us to experience the blessings and the goodness of God, is nothing but a clean heart, a pure heart, a sincere heart. The art in the Bible signify the seat of the affections, also wisdom and understanding. It's the center of man's being. Whoever we give our heart to determines a primary allegiance. God this evening wants us to have a pure heart, because it's only with a pure heart we can serve God. Because God, whom we serve, God whom we worship, is a holy God. The Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So if I want to have a close, intimate fellowship with God, and if I want God to bless my life, it's all a matter of my heart towards God. You need to ask yourself a question this evening. How is my heart towards God? Is my heart holy and pure? Do I entertain impure thoughts in my heart? We need to realize one thing. If my heart is defiled, my life is defiled. And with that condition, I cannot say I love God. I cannot say I am a child of God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. In other words, do your utmost to keep your heart pure, because you are your heart, and out of it comes everything in life. The issues of life, your decisions, your actions, and reactions, the way you feel, think and reason about things, your words, these can be pure or impure depending on the condition of your heart and the decision you have made there, they affect your relationship with God. If your heart is pure, then everything that comes from your life is pure. If your heart is impure, then everything stemming out of your life is impure. Your actions are a result of what is in your heart. Jesus says this very clearly in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 12, reading verses 35. A good man out of the treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. That's why the Bible says we need to keep our heart with all diligence. If my heart is pure before God, I can maintain a right relationship with God. The Bible says in Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 26, the Lord says, My son, give me your heart. He's not asking you for your money, but he's only asking you for one thing. He's asking you for your heart. Because it speaks of a relationship with God. God wants us this evening to surrender our life to him 100% so that he can bless our life and make our life a blessing. With an impure heart, I cannot maintain a right fellowship with God. Think of the life of David. He was a man who had a close, intimate fellowship with God. But when he sinned against God, he knew that will really break the heart of God and lose his fellowship with God. Therefore, he cries out to God and says, O oh God, create in me a clean heart of God. If you have done something to break the heart of God, God wants us this evening to cry out to him, to get right with him, ask God to cleanse you with his precious blood so that you can restore your broken fellowship with God. God wants to remove that heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. A heart that will love God wholeheartedly. A heart that will be faithful to God. A heart that will live wholly before God. With an impure heart, we cannot say we love God. When faced with temptation, keep your heart with all diligence. Never allow any impure thoughts to get into your mind. And as a result, you get defiled and lose the presence of God. God wants us this evening to have a close intimate fellowship with him and it is possible that my heart is right before God. Take a very firm decision this evening 
that you will keep your heart pure and holy. It's only then that God can bless your life and God can fulfill his plan and his purpose in your life. Can the Lord look at you this evening and say, I have found my son and my daughter a person after my own heart. That's why the Lord spoke about David. I have found David a man after my own heart who shall fulfill all my will. Live a life holy and pleasing before God. Because God who we worship is an all holy God. The Bible says, holiness without which no man can ever see God. God wants us this evening to have a right fellowship with Him. And it's possible when my heart is pure. When my heart is pure before God, I can experience the abundance of God's blessings in my life. We can read through the scriptures, the men and women kept themselves holy and pure. God blessed their lives and God fulfilled His plan, purpose in their lives. Commit your life to God this evening. Surrender your heart to God this evening. Love God with an undivided heart. Serve God with a heart of purity. And you can experience the presence of God in your life. God's plan, purpose will be fulfilled in your life. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.